lecture. In the last lectures, we have only discussed about the paper. Am I right? Now we are going to start with a new topic, or I can say the new schedule. Can you guess which is that schedule? Oh, can you see me? Oh no, you are not able to see me. Am I right? It is totally a dark. Ah, now you are able to see me. Yes. What? You are. You can see me now. Can you just tell me how you are able to see me now? Because of the light. Yes. Before that, there was a only a darkness. Am I right? You you were able to hear my voice, but you were not able to see me. Am I right? So today we are going to start with a topic light. Am I right? Which topic we are going to start? Light. Light is a very important source of energy. It is a very important source of energy. Why it is important source of energy? Can you just tell me? This very important source of energy. Yes, because of the light we can see the different object. Now if you will enter in a dark room, can you recognize any color? Can you distinguish any color? Can you see any uh, the things around in a uh, around uh, in the dark room? No, we are not able to see. In the dark room, am I right? If the light is available, then we can see the different object. Am I right? We can distinguish the colors. Am I right? Yes or no? So light is a source of energy. Light is a source of energy. Mainly, the light is classified into the two types. That is natural and man-made. It is also called as a artificial source of light so we are going to distinguish between the two main types of light that is natural and man made first natural so what is meant by the natural the light which we get from the nature the light which we get from the nature is called as a natural source of light it is called as a natural source of light for example, if you will take now see, example sun, it is a natural source of light. Sun is the natural source of light. It is a very, the, the sun is also called as a prime source of energy. It is also called as a prime source of energy. Through so the, the light which we get from the sun, it is from the it is natural, am I right? So it is called as a natural source of energy. Now can you just give any other example through which we can get the light by the natural means? Yes, stars. Star. Yes, star is a natural so source of light. The in the night we can see the twinkling of the star. Am I right? Then see, there are some brighter stars than the sun. Which twinkles at night? Which twinkles at night? Are you getting? The sun is a natural source of light. Even the star is the natural source of light we get from the nature. Huh? The light which we get from the nature is called as a natural source of light. For example, sun and a star. Now, in the night we can see the moon. Am I right? But moon has its own light. No, moon does not have its own light. It takes the light from the sun. It is the light, the light which take, the moon takes the light from the sun. That process is called as a reflection. That I will teach you in the next video. What is meant by the reflection? But there are only two main types of natural source of light. That is sun and the star. Okay. Now there are some animals or I can say some insects for example blue bum, fireflies which emits the light which has its own light the animal which emits the living bodies or some microorganism which emits the light from the body that is called as a bioluminous what it is called bioluminous there are some animals now in the rainy season it is there am I right you can see some animals in Marathi we say
say kazwa yes or no kazwa that uh, that emits the light that emits the light so that are called as a natural they are natural the animals which emits the light the person microorganism uh, emits the light uh, that process is called as a bioluminescence that process is called as a bioluminescence for example fireflies glowworm and some marine animals some marine animals also emits the light are you getting so this comes under the natural source of light now man made now see you can see the different things around you tube light am i right this are made by the man am i right the lights which are made by the human they are called as a human made light or man made light or artificial source of light they are called as a artificial source of light for example tube light bulb yes or no candle this are all made by the man so they are called as a man made or human made or it is also called as a artificial source of light for example candle then you can take the example of tube light yes tube light is also example of man made or human made are you getting the light which is made by the man or the human it is called as a human made or artificial source of light these are mainly the lights are classified into two types natural and man made are you getting that the next point is luminous and non luminous light luminous and non luminous object luminous and non luminous object now what is under the luminous that we will see luminous and non luminous object now what is under the luminous luminous means the object which emits the light the object which emits the light is called as a luminous object for example now sun sun can emit the light am i right it can produce the light tube light it can produce the light but whether the chair table has its own light or whether they can produce any light no the object which emits the light is called as a luminous object the object which emits the light is called as a luminous object why the object which do not emits the light is called as a non luminous object is called as a non luminous object for example for the luminous object you can write the example of sun stars bulb tube light Means the material which allows the light to pass through it. 
allows a light to pass through it okay for example glass if you will take a glass now see this is a glass okay if you will take a glass it allows a light to pass through it so that material is called as a transparent material then the next type is the translucent translucent means what the the material through which the light means some light pass through it for example tissue paper butter paper if you will take it allows you can see the image the blur image you can see the blur image behind it am i right so that material is called as a translucent material translucent means what it allows only some light only some light to pass through it so we can see the image little bit blur so that material is called as a translucent material the next is a opaque the opaque means it does not allow to light to pass through it does not allow light to pass through it so that material is called as opaque for example if you will take a book now if you will take your book okay now can you see the things which is written in the on the board no because the light has passed only just through it and it does not allow to see the what is behind this book am i right so it does not allows a light to pass through it so these are the three types of material i hope you have understood the video so today's work is that you have to remove the notes on this it is there in your class 6 um book so remove the notes and write in your physics notebook okay thank you